Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to copy or pretty much import a airfoil from airfoilstools.com onto SOLIDWORKS or into SOLIDWORKS. So you're going to get your airfoil you want, you get a sailing format data file, copy the data points, then open them up in Excel. Once you open them in Excel, paste it, and we have to go to data and text to column to separate them. Um, and then you can push finish. And for some reason, messed up a little bit, but it's just this first, co first coordinate. And now you want to delete this column, and you want to fill in your Z column, Z coordinates, or zero. And once we have this, you're going to file. Save as to wherever you want to save it. Um, you want to make sure you save it as a text file. Um, so I think this is like and now we can save it. Click yes when it pops up or okay, whatever it is. Um, now you're gonna go to SolidWorks, open up a part file, uh, your tools. Oh, I'm sorry. Insert curve, curve three y browse. Um, yeah, and then you're gonna do oops, the text file right here. Then select your whichever you save from Excel, and that's how you do it. Oh, just kidding! It didn't work for me, but <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is just open up that. <clears throat> text file, whatever was wrong with it, and for some reason, mine's been a little janky, and I just need to move all my zeros over for that Z coordinate for some reason. So, that's all you have to do. I don't know why mine has been doing this. Now, file, save. So we save it. Now you can just go to browse text file. The new one we saved. Now you can see your stuff popped up. I don't know why it does that, but then you just push OK. And here you go. Here's your airfoil. Um, now you have your curve and everything. You're going to want to convert it into these. Um, Sorry, I forgot to make a sketch. Now, you should go do convert entities. Now you have convert entities. Um, if you want to have your airfoil there, and then on edge, you delete that. And you're good to go. Delete the curve. Oops. Or you can just hide it, whatever you want to do. But So there you go. And that's how we import airfoils into SolidWorks. Um, and obviously, you can do all your other features from there. So, all right. Thank you.